Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappinkatie.ctmh.com and today is day 15 of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches and I am 15 for 15 so far and so excited. So let's take a look at the photos and the sketch for day 15. So I've got the three 4x4 four four photos here and then three patterns of paper or maybe you can make one a journaling spot or do stamping, something like that. And then the thing I love most about this layout, it would be a good one to also make a companion page. And then also this huge title over here on the left and then the journaling underneath the title. So I'm going to try to kind of stay true to that and see how it goes. The paper that I have pulled out is the Daisy Meadows, and you can see it is extremely Eastery, which these photos are from Easter. Um, I'm planning on using this as part of my title, and then we've even got some backsides to these gorgeous papers. So we'll just see how that plays along, and let's get started. Okay, so I compliment com contemplated yes contemplated using a background um like a patterned paper for my base page but the majority of it is covered up so i've decided not to do that um it's just you know i hate to use a color as my background and then all of it be covered up so this plaid paper I just love, but I've already used a lot of it, so I have some scraps. So I'm going to try to see if I can cut a scrap instead of cutting into that big, huge um, 12 by 12. So definitely have enough here. I need four inches because that is what these squares are. They're four by four. And the photos are four by four as well. I might actually trim the photos down just a little bit. And I really like the Easter eggs too, but... Let's go ahead and cut a piece just to try it out. But anyways, I was thinking about bringing some of the stickers in for the Easter aspect of it. So I don't know if I actually want to use a pattern paper. And then I've got these cute little Easter bunnies, this swirl, and then this back. So I think I actually like this little guy and then that way I could save my Easter stickers okay so the thing about this is I want him to be within the four inches 11 7 okay so I think I'm going to do it down here so I'm going to cut him at four inches and then just kind of like you know have you ever heard about the thirds rule um, where your subject will be in in one third or two thirds I want the little Easter bunny in a third same same thing with you know how I use um, you know three wooden images or three sequins or stuff like that. Just odd numbers work, work best. I don't really, the reason I love, I love this peacock paper, but it's just kind of dark for these photos. So I think I'm going to keep it light and I think I'm just going to use those for right now. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so I did trim these photos down, and here's an example of the thirds. So if you were to separate this photo into three sections, you can see that the kids uh, make up two-thirds of that photo. 
So it doesn't always happen like that, but that's what I was kind of referencing when I was talking about thirds. Okay, so I want my Easter images separated. So I think I'm going to do the bunny rabbit down here, Easter eggs up there, plaid right here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you know, this was the scratch paper that I did. There's a little nick right there. So I'll just have to make sure that there's an embellishment there. And then I've got the photos. Same thing with the photos. I want the people photos to be separated. So these will be right here. And then we've got the huge title and such. Now, I think I want, I know y'all are tired of seeing me ink distress, but it just does all the world of a difference to me. I just, I just think it's so, just adds just that extra something. So I'm using peach ink because peach is one of the colors in the Daisy Meadow collection. And aside from this pattern right here with the eggs and then the Easter Bunny, uh, these patterns actually aren't that Eastery. And then the sticker sheet really has um, one, maybe two bunny images. And then, of course, the Easter title. But all the rest are just florals and then... If you guys are following along with this um, 30 Days of Sketches series, then you know that... Oh, no, I didn't do that. No, I didn't do it for this one. I did it for another YouTube video. I took the wishes part and I made the title She Is out of that word for a layout. So there are some things, if you do not celebrate Easter... Um, or if you do not have any Easter photos, you know, let's say your kids are all grown, let's say you don't have grandkids yet, then there are some patterns to this lovely paper that definitely you could use for other things. I mean, this plaid alone is just gorgeous to me, and the colors are just so trendy. My sweater is kind of clashing with them. But, I just am loving them. So, I'm trying to debate whether I should pull out my tea ruler or if I should just know that as long as that's a corner, that's a corner, <clears throat> if I can get it right. I think it's close enough. Okay, so we are going to adhere this photo in the middle. But see, when I put the photo down, it doesn't look straight. And of course, I use really strong tape, so it's hard to get up. That didn't work either. Nothing is looking correct here, girls. Maybe I had it right the first time. It's really so difficult trying to look past my camera. I feel like if I get too straight like on top of it then you guys can see my eyebrows, eyelashes, hair, everything. So I try to stay out of frame but sometimes it's hard for me to see if stuff is straight. So this is the last one. As you can see this is coming together really quickly. Okay, so for the most part, that's good. There are, you know, that, 
This kind of looks crooked, but I think we can deal with it. So, in the sketch, there's this scallop right here. Well, lo and behold, this little sticker sheet has a scallop. And I'm just going to use my paper piercer, if I can find it, to make sure those little centers of the scallop stay on the sticker sheet. It's going to be a whole lot easier making sure they stay here than trying to take them out after I peel it up. And before I do that, I can already tell that's just a little bit too thick. So I'm just going to cut looks like a little less than a quarter of an inch. And I can save that for later. Use it for something. Okay, so now back, back to peeling this off and making the circles stay. And I don't want to touch the sticker too much. I want it to not get my oils all over my, from my fingers all over because it takes the sticky off of it. What is happening here? Oh. User error. So I'm just going to finish punching these. So I do have lots of other Easter photos. So like I said before, this is a really good layout to do um, if you're going to have a companion page because you can just carry those squares over to the other page and then it looks like they go. Or you could even do strips. Just do four inch strips across. So I'm going to try that. And try to show you guys once I finish. Okay, so I want it flush with this square. But, you know, because I have a white border around my photos, then there's some left. Okay, so, there's that. And then journaling. So let me draw my journaling lines first. Of course, the easiest thing to do. Add some adhesive right there, just to tack this down so it doesn't move a whole lot. And then, I think, I think I'm going to do it in pencil and erase. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to go to the half inch mark. And then start half inch, move over a quarter of an inch, and half inch. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do three journaling lines because I can also journal on the accompany page. And then I just peel that off and rub that with my rub and remove. If I had any residual on there, I could use the rub and remove on there as well. And then let's take this sticker off. Again, it's easier to grab these little centers to the letters and make sure they stay there than try to get them off later. See, it already stuck to my finger. Okay, so. Let's do Easter. 
And then I'm going to come back in with an alphabet stamp that I used last month. I think it was last month. Man, I mean, my months are already running together. It's an old, it's called Rustic Alphabet, and it was one of our E-size stamp sets. So I'm going to bring it in for the year. So, Easter... Okay, well, I'm sad to say that the Rustic Alphabet, I forgot it is just an alphabet. It is no numbers, but I have my favorite thin cut. It's the block numbers. It also comes with an alphabet. Um, every once in a while, Close to My Heart will offer it as a bundle, so I always encourage people to go get it when it is a bundle because it is just it is that fabulous so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to I want this Sundance color to be at the forefront of the number so I want to make sure the number is either um, left to right in Sundance and then I also want to make sure that it's even. So you can see the two and the one, and then the nine. So before that moves, I am going to grab my tape so I can get it taped down. See if I can find my tape. Where is it? There it is. So I'm going to get this tape down and then run it over to my die cut machine and die cut these out. Okay, so that is done. Peel that up. out okay let's see how this looks the good thing about this being a die cut is if it doesn't look good then I just pick a different paper and run it back there I didn't waste any stickers or anything like that 2000 and I wanted to go with the Sundance color just to kind of bring some unity to the title so I think I like that. I think once I get my journaling in, it'll be a little bit better. I think I might come in and add some stuff right there. Definitely, probably right there. Okay, so let's glue this down. I am going to do liquid adhesive. I'm going to pull this out. And let's put it on the E and the R just to make sure that it's straight. And let me scoot it down so my vantage point is still there, but that you guys can still see it. I don't want too much of this to come out like it just did there. Oh, well, that works. Okay, so Easter. Two. Zero. One. And then a nine. How did that get all? Oh, because I put it in the middle. I was thinking, how did that get all out of whack? Well, 
because it didn't span over to any white. So it just looks like it had a different bottom to it, but it doesn't. Okay, so there's that. And then let's start kind of decorating with the sticker sheet. So I think I'm going to do these little eggs, but maybe not. <laughs> I need something right there, but um, not as much, so maybe a heart. And then let's do this heart. And then I want something, I love him, so nothing needs to be down here. Something needs to be right here. And then maybe look at this. I'm going to save on a hunt, I think, for the other layout where I actually have the photos of them hunting eggs and then I wonder if I should do that right there hmm. <laughs> decisions decisions I don't want to do an Easter bunny. Maybe I can just do one egg. Nope. Okay. I think I'm going to do a flower to kind of bring the flowers up there. <coughs> I also tried to look at the PMO cards, just really couldn't find anything. So then it dawned on me just to do a flower and then I can also bring in some of this foliage that will go on both of those little areas. So I think right there. these colors I hope you can just see how gorgeous they are so pretty I don't even don't really know how to explain it it's just the colors um, I think on that one I'm actually gonna Add a little foam circle to the end of that one just to kind of add some dimension. But the colors are just so pretty. And I think it's a, a little combination of the combination of the colors, them being trendy. I don't know, just something about them just brings so much joy to me. Okay. Yeah, I'm really digging that. So, I like that. I got the Easter Bunny down there. I contemplate, you know, I'm really trying to use this. I contemplated putting these down here. But they just kind of stick out. I'm just not, I'm not feeling it at all. So I think, I think that's going to be it. Now I do have some enamel dots that go with this collection. They're so pretty. Aren't those gorgeous? 
So I think I'm going to add some of those up and around here. The only downfall about these is I want more. <laughs> like, I want all the pretty enamel dots. Give them to me. I think I'm just going to add just a couple up here and then I will be done. Yeah, I don't think I need them anywhere else. So oh, there is that layout and all the quickest 20 minutes I've ever spent on a layout and I love it. So don't forget to go check out all the links down below of the other girls playing along and then I'll also leave links to any of the products that I used in case you want to go grab them. Otherwise I'll see you tomorrow for day 16. So here are some still shots of the layout. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. And as always, I would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time I post a crafty video.